video is all about my first year on YouTube. In this video, I will review my analytics to show you that it does take time to build momentum. I'll chat about how much I've earned and my top earnings for my videos. And I'll give you a quick overview of how I make my videos as an anonymous YouTuber. So I uploaded my first video on the 24th of March, 2020. It was a bit of an all about us video and why I started the YouTube channel. I've since redone that video and I hope it's a lot better now. When I started the channel, my initial goal was to reach monetization within one year. I still remember putting it out there to my husband and giving it the deadline of one year. And if it didn't amount to anything, then I would give it up. In the beginning, because it does take a long time to build momentum, I was worried that it wasn't going to happen. But I did reach channel monetization seven months after starting the channel. You need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time. I did find the watch time the hardest. And it blows my mind that 12 months after starting the channel, I've had 190,000 views, 14,000 watch hours, and I now have over 4,000 subscribers on the channel. And I have had a video go semi-viral recently, which has bumped up those figures a lot. I truly believe what helped me was staying consistent. I made myself upload a video no matter what. And I also made myself work on my videos one hour every day. I even have a timer to keep track of the time spent on task. And I swear it really helps with accountability. And as always, if you are liking this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really does help to support my channel. And now I'm going to go through the subscriber progress of my channel over the past 12 months. In the first month, I gained 74 subscribers. Being an anonymous YouTube channel was hard because I wasn't able to share it with my friends. In the following months, the channel has been growing steadily. Except for months 12, of course, which we'll talk about soon. And then here are my views progress for the channel over the last year. The views have been growing, but I did feel like months 6 to 10 were quite stagnant. But things have really started to take off recently. And my watch time progress was very similar. But watch time really is the hardest to build up because you need to have a bank of videos to help this build over time. I remember thinking after month one and two that I would never make 4,000 watch hours. And here are those views from those months six to 10. And it does look pretty stagnant. Although I'm glad I stuck at it and it really just does take time and patience. Most YouTubers that I know who are making a full-time living from YouTube have had their channel for at least three years. And then I finally had a video take off in the YouTube algorithm. It started to take off and then drop off again and then pick up again and then it totally popped off. And that video was the one about the first 100k being the hardest. And I'll share some of those key statistics from that video for those of you who are interested. The audience retention rate was 44.4%, which is lower than some of my videos, but this does happen when your videos start to get shown to a wider audience. The video was shown to half a million viewers. 7.5% of those viewers clicked on the video, and over 50,000 of them were unique viewers. Most of those views came from browse features, which means it was showing up on people's home screen. And I've now earned $686 from this video, which is crazy. And then quite a bit from my other videos as well. The total income for my channel over the past 12 months or since I've been monetized has been $2,225.11. And here is a breakdown of my income once the channel was monetized. October is really small because I was only monetized towards the end of that month. March is huge because of that semi-viral video and that amount doesn't even show the full month because these stats are from the 23rd of March. But don't forget these amounts don't include tax either. My goal for the channel is to have my income cover the hours that I put in. I spend about 7 hours a week on the channel which I figure equates to one relief teaching day. Relief teaching in Queensland pays $400 a day but then I would also have to pay daycare. So I think $300 per video or per week is what it would take to pay me back for my time. At the moment, my channel has paid me $39 per video, but that includes all the videos before I reach monetization. 
So if I look at the monthly revenue and divide those amounts by four, which isn't perfect calculations because sometimes there's five Tuesdays in a month, but I thought it'd be an interesting way to see how close I am to my goal. March I divided by three because it hasn't been a full month yet. I think these amounts are pretty good considering that I wasn't even expecting to be making any money at this point in time. But don't forget, I also have complimentary income. I also have income from my Etsy shop and affiliate links. And most of the time, that income comes close to equaling the income I earn from the channel. Except for March, of course, although that would be nice. You can see what affiliates I have in my video descriptions, but I did recently make a video on my various income streams if you do want to know more. I'll leave a link in the video description. So I do have plans for this income. I have decided that I want to invest this income because YouTube might not always be a thing. So I'm going to use this income to create another solid income source. I've decided to invest into a separate listed investment company so that it doesn't get mixed up with my other investments. I think it's going to be motivating to see my hard work as a dollar figure rather than letting it get absorbed into our monthly budget. I've decided to buy Whitefield. Whitefield is a listed investment company and I chose it mainly because of the bonus share plan where shares don't get added to my taxable income. I'm investing $1,000 every second or third month. I chose $1,000 because Comsec charges $10 brokerage on that amount and $19.95 for higher amounts. Once the channel is earning more, I might be able to invest more to save on that brokerage cost. And so far, the total return for Whitefield has been a loss of 1.18% or $11.84. So that's mostly that $10 brokerage fee. Of course, it's still early days and as always, the stock market has its ups and downs. I do get asked a lot how I make my videos, so I thought I'd do a quick overview. I'll give you a quick summary here and then I'll go through some screenshots as well. I create a keynote presentation using graphics from Canva, screenshots and text. I then animate everything in Keynote and then export it as an iMovie. Then I record the audio separately using a desktop mic and then I use iMovie to link the audio with the movie. So creating the Keynote presentation is the first step. Keynote is Apple's version of PowerPoint. But don't make the mistake that I made in my first video and not change the slide size to suit YouTube's screen size. I get some of my graphics from Canva and they do have a free option, but I do pay for the paid version. I simply download the images and then crop them and add them to my slideshow. And then I animate everything on the slides. And then once it's all animated, I export the slideshow as a movie. Once it's exported, I play it back just to see if I'm happy with the animation and just check that I haven't missed anything. Then I record my audio separately using a separate mic. I have a Blue Yeti with two pop filters and I also have a higher desktop stand for it as well. I use Adobe Audition for the recording and processing the audio, although there is also Audacity, which is a free option. And then I process the audio. I'm definitely no expert on this because I think my audio could be better and my knowledge with Adobe Audition is very limited. But what I do is I take out the background noise, I normalize the audio and compress it, then I normalize it again and then I take out the background noise again. Then I import the slideshow file and the audio file into iMovie and link the audio to the slideshow. I knew nothing about iMovie when I started but it has been easy enough to pick up. And I just wanted to say if I could make videos you can do it too. My computer knowledge has not progressed that much since what I learned in high school 20 years ago. There are a few things that I needed to learn, but I found YouTube or a simple Google search enough to find out what I needed to know. There's nothing special about my computer skills at all. So here's a video breaking down my monetization journey a little more if you wanted to check out that one next. Or here's a video about those five income streams that I mentioned earlier. Thanks so much for listening. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. See you next week.